everyone. This is this is will be the first of many videos explanatory about Flutterflow. Okay. On this video, I'm going to teach how to put the conditional visibility in a project on Flutterflow. Okay. So let's do it. By now, let's go in, in create new, and I will put visibility as a project name and create new. We can skip by now. Um, for reasons of organization, I'm going to delete the app bar. Safe area <clears throat> and turn off the safe area. <clears throat> On the column, we are going to add another column. Let's spend this column and put on the center on this column I will put a row the row I will put on the center the middle and I will, I will have to put another column why did I do this? because the conditional visibility just work with columns ok so we, we have to we have we need to have a column to work okay it's something that it's required to work so let's put two icons put a text this example here people guys variable let's write status and put as an integer and create okay um, let's move back here click on the first icon conditional visibility turn on and the conditional let's put local state status confirm and the second value, let's put specific value and put zero and y zero because when the page loads, we want that the square, the first square will be like empty. So let's put zero and then let's go to the action to when you when the user click on the square, they will be marked. So update local state, still status select the date type and let's put we put zero and when the user click Local state, type field type status, inside value, let's put zero and let's run the app just to check, okay people?
okay guys as you can see the app it's running so when the user clicks voila <laughs> it's working so for this and more videos about Flutterflow please subscribe and you'll be aware that I'm going to post some videos in the next few days okay so thank you guys for the patient and see you later